Tonight, we've learned two University of Minnesota students are in self-quarantine because they came in contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 during a trip to Europe. The students landed at MSP on Tuesday. They were allowed to get on that flight because they were not showing any symptoms at the time. The U says the students have not been inside any university-owned building since they returned. Today, we learned the Minnesota Department of Health has the ability to give 1,200 tests right now. So far, 13 Minnesotans have tested negative. Eight others are pending. Generally, the state follows CDC guidelines for who gets tested. How do they actually test, though, for the new coronavirus? Good question. Heather Brown got a look inside the state lab. How do the specimens get here? Right. <laughs> um, it can be a logistical challenge. Mainly it's, you know, by a local courier. They're certified to take handle biological samples. Sarah Vetter manages the Infectious Disease Lab at the Minnesota Department of Health. We visited their space in downtown St. Paul today where they test all kinds of diseases. From measles to influenza. To rabies, to norovirus. And now novel coronavirus. Mm -hmm. The samples we can test are upper respiratory and lower respiratory samples. This can be like a nose swab, a throat swab. It's a sputum, um, which is basically the gunk, <laughs> that gunk you cough up when you have that really bad cough. In this first lab, someone double checks the sample and preps it for the test. We don't know that much about this new coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So how careful do you need to be? Mm -hmm. You're right. So we don't know a lot about this virus, but we know a lot about other respiratory viruses. Mm -hmm. We're using that information to treat it like a lot of the other respiratory viruses we see. Which means a secure lab with biosafety cabinets. Which is what we're standing next to. Lab coats, goggles. So if we were touching the sample, we'd be wearing, wearing gloves. And lots of hand washing. Good laboratory practice is to wash your hands when we leave the laboratory. Even though we're going from one lab to the yep. other? And even if you didn't touch anything. Definitely going to follow your advice. We move to a second lab where they extract what they need to test. The virus is living in their respiratory cells, so we have to burst open those cells. The virus is so small, though, they have to replicate it. This is where we amplify? Correct. To be able to see if it exists. Yes, this is the thermocycler. That so. takes about an hour and a half. So this is the aha room. Correct. Where you could be the one that discovers here's our first case in Correct. Minnesota. Yes. Then what happens? Then the, the results get reported out. What happens to the actual specimen? The actual specimen gets tossed. After it's sterilized. Correct. We never throw just anything in the trash here. In St. Paul, Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Vice President Mike Pence expects commercial labs to be able to offer that test by next week. The Vice President will tour Minnesota's front lines against COVID-19 tomorrow. He's going to be at 3M to see how the Maplewood Company is creating protective gear. After that, he will travel to Washington State as it responds to a deadly outbreak. Second Lady Karen Pence will now headline the Keep America Great rally in downtown St. Paul tomorrow evening. Healthcare companies led a day of big gains across the board on Wall Street. Market analysts also credit Joe Biden's performance in last night's Democratic primaries for pushing the market higher. Investors see Biden as a more business friendly alternative to Bernie Sanders.